Okay, so I did decide to get the cable. There's another twenty dollars. So luckily I found the spring. I usually when I set a part aside to remember where it is, I forget where I put it. But uh, this is the safety cable so that when you take your hands off of the handle, the motor automatically shuts off. Okay, so this is the engine stop cable. It took me about 15 minutes to figure out because I had it disconnected for so long. Um, it's got this bracket. Well, first off, let's take the cable off. And you can see there's this bracket. And I had thought that I had disconnected it. I just looped it on this so I wouldn't lose it, but that's actually how it was connected anyways. So if you have this bracket, you have to make sure that this uh, flange here, or this uh, L-shaped part of the bracket, is facing outward, if that makes any sense. And so the handle there's a slot here, and that allows you to put the handle in, and then you can put this handle in the slot here, and then insert the handle into the holes, insert this control handle onto the, the main handle on the lawnmower, so this pops into the hole, so now you have the bracket. And then you take this cable and you have to put one end in to the hole here and then the other end fits into the slot like that and that gets threaded also. Let's get a close-up of that. So that's how that works. Get the cable in here, fitting into this slot. You get this that uh, actually just hits against the bar when it's that's once I thread the other side of the cable and put the tension on the bar normally is like that. And you have to keep it closed to keep the engine running. So look at it from another angle. You can see how the that action works there. And where the cable threads in, and how this hits up against the handle. So that's the orientation for all these parts. And now let me hook up the other end to put tension on the cable. Looks like it goes into this slot here. And then this pops into this hole, like so, and there's this spring. Okay, so this spring goes on this end here, and you have to pull it, okay. So the spring actually tells a story here. These two loops are 90 degrees off from each other. So I'm looking here, and I thought maybe it was on the hole here. Uh, at first I thought that the control cable went over here, and that's not the case. So there is a hook here, because there's no open loops here. It's hard to get anything on this. So there's a hook here, and I need a pair of pliers to bring that up onto the hook that's here. So I've had, I have my needle nose pliers. There you go. I think. Let's give it a try. So when your hand comes off the handle, it activates a shutoff switch here, 
opens up some contacts and kills the engine. So you can see the action of the cable and the spring there.